guys, the Call the Math Lady. Today we're working on function part two. So essentially, when we talk about functions, we've been talking about having a set of numbers that have a relationship, and it's our job to be a detective and figure out that relationship. Okay, so here I have one. I've got my in column and I've got my out column. Let's see if we can figure out the relationship. So if I put in one and I end up with three, what happened? Well, it could be that I either added two or I multiplied by three to get there. So let's keep going to see which one it really is. I put in two, I ended up with six. Looks like I multiplied by three to get there. Let's see if that fits the rest of them. Three times three is nine, four times three is 12, and five times three is 15. So what is the rule? The rule here is multiply by three. Let's try to figure out the pattern here. So we've got in our in, we have put in four, but we end up with nine on our out. We've got to find this missing number. Here's eight and 13, 10 and 15, 12 and 17. So it looks like the pattern is, is if we add five to four, right? So to the to the in column, if we add five to it, we'll end up with our out. So four plus five is nine. 8 plus 5 is 13, 10 plus, 5 is, 10 plus 5 is 15, so it works. So the rule here is to add 5. You've probably noticed that we're moving more and more towards algebra, so it actually takes over here not quite nicely. Instead of using the word in, we could change that to a variable. We could call that in x, and the out we could call y. And instead of using in and out, we can actually write an equation to tell us about this rule. So we knew that if we added 5 to our in column, it would give us our out column. Well, what if we instead used variables and said if we add 5 to our x, meaning x plus 5 equals our y column. And you will find that often people also write it this way. They'll say our y column is when you add 5 to your x. So they might actually start with the y. y equals x plus 5. That's how we got to the y. So let's try one more example where we convert our in and outs to x's and y's. Here's our function. We have our in column and our out column. But instead of using in and out, we're going to use variables. We're going to use an x and a y instead. So tell me, how do we come up with our missing number? So our, even just our whole y column, we're going to start with y equals, let's figure it out. The rule here is 3 to 18, 4 to 24, 6 to 36. It looks like we are multiplying by 6, right? So we could say that y equals taking our x column and multiplying it by 6. So y equals 6x would be the equation for this function. Okay, that's it for this lesson. We're going to have a few more of these practice problems in the practice set so you can write your own equations. Okay, I'll see you next time. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Have a good one. Bye-bye.